So tell us, what is it that you're shooting today? Is it pineapples? Is it coconuts? Is it food related? Today, it's serious. Today, it's you, you're doing something serious? Once in a while. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, well, what's happening here? Do you... Oh. Honestly. Hey, in the middle of nowhere, what do you want me to do? Have suits? Maybe. Oh, have you seen my new El Camino? Uh, it's gonna be a good one. He's selling this. Not selling, I just bought it. What are you talking about? Oh, no. I'm selling this one. Getting rid of that for this. I don't know. I have good plans for that. So if you want to see what's going to happen to that poor El Camino, stay in the video, subscribe, likes, whatever. We're going to say that at the end of the video. I really wonder what's going to happen to that car. Something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Some bad stuff is going to happen. Today, it's about uh, to find out. Let's be serious as we spoke before we start this video. Let's try to have this one serious at least. Can Would I have some Starbucks shots? <laughs> Um, we we're sponsored by <laughs> no, we're not. We're gonna get our butt sued by Starbucks. <laughs> it's about Glock 20. It's a very beautiful, typical Glock. I mean, all the Glocks are the same. So as this one, I love it. Functions perfectly. This one takes what? A 10 millimeter. There is a lot of questions about this round. Is it powerful? How powerful it is? Is it better than 357? Better than 9 millimeter? To compare it, there it is. Come close. Is it on focus? See, that's our 10 millimeter and that's our 9 millimeter. Both of them are full metal jacket. And then she was asking what full metal jacket is. Do you see it's shiny uh, all around it? That's the jacket. Inside that jacket, it's a lead. So full metal jacket, that means it's fully jacketed like that. Um, I forgot what they call this uh, material. I never know. Copper. So it's all copper around it. Inside it's the lead. They call this a full metal jacket. These are for range and target shooting. It's good at penetration. And now we're gonna shoot a couple of different targets and to find out how powerful this beautiful Glock uh, 20s. But let's not talk a lot today. Come this side, lady. Get back to the kitchen. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's your kitchen right there. Your kitchen is a nice kitchen. There's guns in there, ammo's in there, a nice handsome dude right there. <laughs> first target, let's go ahead and figure out our first target. She stole a couple of them <laughs> to read. And then this is the way that I read books. Ken Fawola. What is this? <laughs> the evening and the morning. Okay. <laughs> uh, carve the mark. Well, I told you to stay in the school. Copsista on the march. Okay. So, yeah, stuff like that. Christina, Hannah for the wins or something like that. String. Strong-minded woman, look here. Strong-minded woman, and others lost voice. Others lost voice. Something like that. Why are you quiet? What are you trying to say? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books that we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with a 10 millimeter. And you might be asking, okay, if you shot like, what, what are we gonna find out? What we're gonna find out is I'm gonna shoot them with a nine millimeter as well. And we're gonna see the difference, and that's gonna give you kind of an idea how powerful, how much power is behind the 10 millimeter. The rounds that we're gonna go ahead and use, both blazers, CCIs, uh, the 10 millimeter, it's 180 grain, travels at 1200 feet per second. This 1200 thing is on <laughs> all of my videos, but I'm not lying, this is actually 1200 feet per second. And our 9 millimeter, it's 115 grain, which travels 1230. Uh, 1230 you looked at it already i don't know looked it up the nine millimeter travels at 1145 feet per second and that's the muzzle velocity and the kaboom lady what's muzzle velocity it's the speed that bullet comes right at the barrel mm -hmm. so then 10 uh, the nine millimeter it's a very fast round but see the 10 millimeter is faster and heavier so technically it's gonna cause more damage more penetration 
and uh, let's shut up and shoot. And I'm a horrible shot with this Glock 20, like I'm perfect with the other ones. <laughs> Eyes, ears, rears, and rears. Let me fix my rear. There we go. I'm gonna sit like a boss. You ready? Kaboom, a kaboom, and kaboom. Don't tell me I missed. I think you did because it didn't move. Oh, right on the target. Oh, right on the target. Right on the target. So here is that shot. I wasn't aiming here. I was aiming here so I can uh -huh. have a room for the 9mm. I'm absolutely lying. So as you can see, went through one. Went through one is it gonna be inside there and it's gonna be inside here and we're gonna be very excited seeing it it's right there <gasps> that's cool uh-huh uh-huh so remember page number 248 we're gonna be very specific this time <laughs> page number 248 was the paper who stopped the 10 millimeter see the lead that i was talking about inside the jacket mm -hmm. this is what it is you learned something today from someone who doesn't know. Finally. So one book and 248. 48 on the second book to stop that 10 millimeter. Let's go ahead and shoot it with the nine millimeter. I think it's gonna do better though, I don't know. I've shot a lot of books with nine millimeter and they usually do better, but the materials between these books are different since I haven't read a lot of books. I don't know. All right, so that's gonna be our 115 grain nine millimeter. One thing that can make a difference is see how that 10 millimeter is has a, a flat nose. This one is sharp, so that could make a little bit of a difference. But remember, this is 180 grain. The 10 millimeter way heavier and a little bit faster than nine. For our nine millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and use my beautiful friend Glock 19, which obviously shoots a nine millimeter. 20 shoots a 10, 19 shoots nine. Glock, can you fix those numbers? <laughs> you ready? You wanna shoot it? Do you think of you can course. hit the target from here? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, go ahead. <laughs> you wanna shoot it? Yes. Try it, let's see if you can hit the target. You have your ear eye protection, yes you do. Let's see. What the kaboom lady will do. All right, let's see if you did hit it. I, I think, think you missed. So. All right, let's go for the second round. Don't rush, take your time. Nice, you did hit it. Not sure what part of it, but you did hit it. Our weapon is clear. Hey, uh, kaboom lady, before you walk like a horse in the middle of a range, <laughs> make sure the gun is clear. It's clear. <laughs> okay, I did check it now. Go. <laughs> Let's see what you did. I think you missed again. Oh my god. No, you look, hit it look, in the look top. Look at the top. Yeah. I mean, he stopped it. I mean, it's fair. Look at the look at the page. It is fair. So here's where we hit, right there. See what it did right there. Ooh, I think she's blind. She's absolutely blind. She didn't see the bullet right I in the see beginning. It. <laughs> then where are you going? Oh, <laughs> what are you looking? Curious at? how far it thing. See, it actually made it. No, that's not going. That's not penetration. Oh, Stop right here. Here's the bullet. Still. That's where it's up. So page one. Yep, page one. <laughs> page basically. Zero. Right on the cover. Don't judge the book by its cover. <laughs> you want to take it out? The bullet, I mean. <laughs> there it is. Right there. That's our 9mm. So, what's the result? Explain Ten like you mean it. is definitely more powerful and yeah. penetrated so, a lot further. That was obvious from the beginning, but we just want to show the... Uh, you how it is so 10 millimeter did 248 pages better than the nine millimeter so are we gonna end it here nope 
like always, we're gonna have to move to our second target. Let me figure out what we're shooting and we'll be right back. back. This guy's running out of things to shoot, so I suggest you give him some ideas because at this point it's just two by fours. I mean, it's a good way to find out about the difference. I'm hoping these four will be enough to stop the bullet. And I put space in between them. Uh, I don't know why I just did. It's gonna be easier for it to penetrate, I guess, if there's a space between it. Uh, we're gonna shoot them with both calibers again and to see what happens. And uh, kaboom lady, what do you think? You wanna guess something? I say think? it's gonna at least go through three of them. The 10 millimeter? The 10 millimeter. Okay, let's start with the 10 and let's see what the 10 does. Let's keep on moving. Dad, are you ready? Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 180 grain. Let's hit the target, huh? Kaboom, kaboom, and kaboom. What a shot, man. What a shot. Beautiful. We are clear. Let me scare him. Actually, I haven't been recording this whole time. Yeah? Are you sure? No, you're joking. <laughs> That's what I did. <coughs> I told you in the beginning of this video, a very bad shot with this gun. I shot right here, so we're gonna do it. I shoot it again. And she shoots way better than me. And we're about like, what, 15, 10 yards away? And we can't even hit a single target. And we're here, we're here explaining to you guys how the calibers work. There we go. Kaboom, a uh, kaboom, and the kaboom. Don't tell me I shot low again. Shot, oh, don't tell me it went through all of them. Yep. Did it go through the yep. fourth one? That's our number one. Hit right there. Like that, I guess. Yes, what a beautiful, like just it's thrilled. Look, <laughs> Look at it. Look how proud he is. <laughs> so shot, went through one, went through the second one, went through the third one, and exited from the fourth. You're probably gonna tell me, hey, do you wanna add another wood and shoot it again? Now my answer will be no. But if I shoot it with the nine and the nine passes through all four, then I'm gonna add a wood and shoot it again. You ready? Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Where is the third hole? You're not gonna believe this. What? Come. It went through the fourth one or it missed the fourth one? And it's hot. We have to explain. Yes, Wait, yes. It doesn't work that way. Uh -huh. So here it is. That's our shot. Went through the first one. Obviously a smaller hole. If you don't He's so proud of that. Uh, proud of what? <laughs> I shot a wood. Second one. Went through the third one. And what happened? Hit the fourth one and did not have any power to penetrate and he stopped. So again, you see the power bit, uh, difference between those two. We're collecting more projectiles here. Now you're gonna say, so now what? That's it? <coughs> and we're gonna shoot our third target. <coughs> Let's go, why are you laughing <laughs> about the communication? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and set up our targets. We'll be right back. Our third target, so since we shot paper, we shot wood, um, I kind of think it's it's good to shoot metal too. Uh, here's the truth about it. I'm not sure these are gonna be, I'm pretty sure I have more of them, but I can't find them, we have two. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if they're gonna stop any of those rounds, but we're gonna try anyways. I'm gonna let uh, the lady shoot the nine millimeter first. If he stops, then we're gonna go ahead and shoot the 10 millimeter. If not, then we're gonna have to think about some other targets. Are you ready to? Squeeze the trigger. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course. You gotta say, of course. Don't disappoint me. I'm about to. You won't. I believe in you. 
I take all the words back. <laughs> and I was actually, I wasn't sure like you hit high, probably right or left. Let's see what you do. Nice, good job. So one in and out. You want to talk when you're looking at it? <laughs> right no, there. In. That's entry. That's an exit hole. That's the other one. That smells weird. Smells gassy. <laughs> There's good reason behind that. Both. So I went through both of them. So it's going to be pointless to shoot it with the 10 millimeter. And now, there it is. What do we do now? I can't find any target. But I gotta find ideas. something. He's I gotta out find ideas. something. It's not ideas. We gotta find targets. This year. Let's find something. <laughs> See how creative I am? Are you proud? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is gonna help stop it. Um, I'm gonna put my bet that it's not gonna go through that too. Let's give it a try. Now we're gonna go ahead and shoot the 115 grain. Full metal jacket. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Of course! Of course! Eyes, ears! Uh, let's hit the target! Kaboom! Kaboom! Uh, kaboom! What? Did not. So obviously, through one. Oh, look what it did. I love this. He's we caught so it. Excited. We caught it. How do we get it out? How do we get it out? That's the question. Well, I don't want to bamboozle this. I'm going to bamboozle it, but let's shoot it with the 10 as well. And we're going to check that metal too. So how come the first time it didn't go through him, but his second time did? That's a very, oh. So pass through the first, second tried to exit but since this was right behind it it stopped it from fully penetrating i, I said it beautifully again kind of proud of myself and then hit right here went back to the uh its place now we're going to shoot it with the 10 millimeter and technically the 10 millimeter should have enough power to get stuck in here our winner of the day the 10 millimeter glock 20. Oh. Don't miss, kaboom guy, don't miss. Oh my god, never destroyed. We are clear. Gotta see something. Here. So there is still only one in here. Went through the first one, bamboozled. See what's happening to this guy. Oh, now we can take it out. There we go. That is our nine millimeter, which was stuck on the second one. Our 10 millimeter pretty much did the same thing. Hit right there. I can't, I mean, the damage is more than the nine millimeter, but you gotta know it's right on the corner. This part is way stronger than the middle part. It's way thicker, I guess. So kind of a similar result but i'm pretty sure it was here it would go through gopro <laughs> did we record or i turned that on yeah you did oh you i'm not sure anyways so that was the entire video of the day i think it was a short video let's make a let's sit and talk and let's make a